Hi everyone, so today is going to be quite an exciting video because I haven't purchased anything in quite a while, I feel like. So I had a little bit of a break from purchasing any art supplies and um, simply because I had kind of, I felt like I had everything that I needed. And then I found a few things that I got really, really excited about and I decided that I will um, share them with you for this Christmas guide. Now, I don't know whether I will be adding anything else later uh, in the month um, or whether this will be it for this Christmas uh, art supplies guide. But basically, I wanted to get it out sooner rather than later simply because I know some of you like to prep for Christmas a bit earlier and it just gets a little bit mad closer to, to December. So in case you want to um, start um, indulging in, in these beautiful things earlier, then I just thought it'd be good to share it with you in advance. So there are a couple of things here. Of course, I will recommend my watercolor set, which I will come to later, which will be available um, end of November. It should be done with the you know, the drying process, they should be good to go, but it will probably take me a few days after that to just package everything and get them back in stock on Etsy. So first week of December, they will be back um, in, in the, in the um, stock. But we'll come to that in a minute. Um, so first of all, um, I have picked uh, two books for a great Christmas gift idea for those of you um, who have friends or for yourselves who love um, watercolors. Now the the big book right here, I'll probably start with this book first. Let me just tidy everything up a little. So this is a big big book and I was to struggle to put it in frame all the way in but it's by Rosie Sanders and it's called Roses it's one of the new books that came out uh, recently and it's a whole book dedicated to roses so if you love roses and you love Rosie Sanders who is a um, botanical artist then you would absolutely love uh, love 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 this book and it's so special because it's fantastically beautiful to go on your coffee table just right for the uh, season when you want to chill out um, on a cold winter's day and just you know uh, flip through uh, or if you want to work from it as well loads of inspiration and you can see how huge uh, the photographs are I will do a very quick flip through for you but I will do a separate video um, in the coming week or two to actually um, show you all of the things that I'm uh, recommending today. Uh, so I'm trying to think that I have a book by her, which is, um, let me just try and find it. Right, so it's quite impossible to get it out <laughs> without getting all the other books on top, really heavy, large books uh, tumbling over. So I will link it uh, up here somewhere on the card for you to uh, see that book. It is gorgeous and I had to get this one. I knew that she's coming out with it and it was um, on a pre-order for a while. And so the other day I saw it that it's available to buy now and it was great because it just came next day. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So it's a celebration in botanical art, it says here. Just to give you a brief overview, beautiful orange paper. I mean, it's really high quality. Um, of course, the publisher is Batsford, if that tells you anything. There we go. And then that's the back of the book. Portraits of an iconic flower. What I like about Rosie, if you're not familiar with her art, is the fact that it is just stunningly beautiful. The way she looks at a rose, it's not a perfect rose, um, but I love the the fluidity of of her style how the petals are um 
structured and how there are bits that are a little bit older and damaged and that's the character and the beauty for me in a flower but especially roses they're they're quite complicated to paint uh, and uh, oh my goodness look at this stunning beautiful work so right at the back maybe that's what I should show you is um, the overview of all of the roses and they are just stunning absolutely stunning um, so just to give you a quick understanding of this book without giving you a full full-on uh, flip through so this is the layout of the book so you'll get the beautiful paintings on one side and then there is usually a little um, sketch a really quick sketch of that um, rose or the flower that she's intending to uh, do a finished painting on and it's got her handwritten note um, about it which is very personal and makes you feel like you are looking inside her sketchbook and sometimes there are also uh, some colors that she um, writes down so anyways uh, that's the the beautiful layout of these so most of them have handwritten notes but I just noticed oh my goodness me look at that stunning so yeah I will do a proper flip through uh, for this book very very soon so you can have a look so that's one great present and this is probably the most costly one so if you feel like splurging on yourself because you just uh, worth it <laughs> or uh, if you want to give this present to someone very dear to you and you have the cash this Christmas then that's a book I would recommend then um, there will be a few more affordable gift presents so let's move on to the next book so the first one I've shown you just kind of came out recently, so it's a very new book. This one on contrary is actually quite old, so I believe it was published in 2006. Um, so yeah, and it is just a beautiful book to give to someone who loves painting portraits or um, as we do on this channel... Uh, you know this sort of like illustration type of work where you need to understand how to create a certain skin tone for it to not look off uh, you know and um, how to create the right tone etc this book is a bible literally last night I actually uh, took it to bed sat down and just had a good read and it is amazing this is something I actually have never been taught um, when I studied art at college. So I haven't, I don't have an art degree, like I didn't go to university to study art, but this was just a couple of years I did this uh, at college before um, going to university to study something completely different. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, I imagine if you go on to study at a uh, university for an art degree, I would imagine this is the stuff they teach you in lectures. And it is written in such an easy language and it's structured so pleasantly that it becomes a complete and utter joy. So the writer behind it is this gentleman here, um, William F. Powell and he has done a fantastic job with this book and I'm just so surprised I haven't seen it before pop up in my Amazon um, shopping ventures but yes so let's have a very quick look at this like I said it's great for someone who is into skin tones and it could be oil um, artist it could be acrylic artist or watercolor so that's the great thing here it kind of puts all together so you don't have to go and buy uh, something separate and right at the end are the watercolors so similar thing it it gives you recipes of how to mix the colors to the right color tones and then it also explains what you can do to create even more 
than this and I believe there were 24 skin tones here yes so there is this book features harmonious mixes for 24 specific skin tones and then obviously you can take it beyond that because there are more than 500 color combinations so you can uh, take one recipe another recipe put it together you get a new color so it's just uh, a bible for color mixing really really good uh, next thing speaking of skin tones i am also going to recommend this beautiful um set now i have also a copic um, markers um, skin skin set but i'm recommending this one because it's actually um water soluble so the tombow dual brush pans they are water soluble which means you can use them just like you would use a watercolor and that's why they are so much fun i have done actually a review for this set already with um with swatches which i'll show you just really quickly now um and i will try to link it or put a card up here in the corner so you can go and have a look and so these are the colors you get here they are really good these ones um these markers are really good for uh, brush lettering as well but the colors are probably not that suitable because they are for skin tones and you can create loads of lovely things if you haven't seen yet let me show you so i've done this beautiful girl skin with the uh, tombow brush markers right there so that's what you can achieve so in terms of price mark the book before was quite um within the affordable i would say and then these are again not so uh not so affordable in terms of the price but i think they're a good price for what they are and you get 10 um, markers in here so they are about if you buy them separately they sell for three pounds each um this ends up a little bit cheaper if you buy this set so they're a bit less than uh three pounds if you buy it as a set okay so let's now look at something a bit more affordable which is this pen now i went ahead and bought this pen because i actually seen it in one of the magazines crafting magazines that i bought let me just actually get it okay so this is the magazine that i have uh, shown uh, I think last week and throughout the magazine they feature this beautiful um, pan I'll just try and find it so it's here this one and it doesn't actually say what the brand is and then it's just sprinkled around the the magazine and then it's here again and I was really curious about it because it's just such a beautiful um, pan and also it's teal. Like it's my favorite color of the moment. So I'm completely obsessed with anything to do with teal. And then I saw it right here. So this is, um, it's called Manuscript. And it's actually the um, same concept. So you get it in a metal tin, which you do here. Uh, it's exactly the same looking um, handle. The tips look slightly different. So this tip is the same. The top tip is the same, but different colors. So here is the same actually um, shape cut out in there. So it's like a dark gray of some sort. This is a more of a gold. And then the middle one is the different one. So here is something like blue metal. And this one is a gold and it's a completely different thing. So the brand here is Manuscript. And this one is done by Kirsten Burks. So she is a modern, like a calligraphy artist. And it also has a little bottle of um, ink in there so basically it's just rebranded uh, she probably reached out 
to the manufacturer and designed her own um, little set. So this is the one that I found on Amazon and it's a good price. Um, so I'm really happy I found it. And when you buy it on Amazon, it's a little bit unclear, I find, because of the pictures, it looks like there is a book in there. But in fact, you don't get a book. All you get is just this little um, leaflet, which you can't really even use for working. They should have done like clean pages where you can do your own thing because, you know. Um, so yeah, so that's what you get in here. You get uh, also an explanation of the nibs. So the extra fine is this one. Then you get the Leonard 256 um, and the Leonard 30, which is the most popular in her workshops uh, because it's supposed to be like a soft nib that expands a lot. And it's quite bent, like you can see here. And then when you push in it, the nib opens up. And that means that you can do those down um, strokes like here. So you do the up strokes nice and fine. And then the down stroke is nice and thick to create this type of brush uh, lettering style. And I'm going to clip it in here. And then... This one is the fine one, the first one, and the second one, what does it do? So it's got, uh, it's a bit of a, more of a firm nib, this one. And um, it just says here that it's great for those that like to um, add more pressure when they write, and it's gold, so that's about it. And then you get a little bottle of black ink. But what I like about it is that it comes in a... Oh, it actually says here manuscript. Look at that. So it's like almost slightly rebranded type of a thing because the other one that I just showed you was manuscript. But it doesn't say anywhere manuscript uh, until you actually look at the tin. So the tin looks gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little present to give. And then finally, um, I want to recommend something that I have created this year and um, for, for great gift ideas, I feel that they are because you can use them together. So these are clear stamp sets and this one is called Face of the Day and this is the gorgeous lady you can create. You can create a lot more than just this lady. In fact, you can create a whole range of them and I've been working uh, through different styles on my channel. So there's loads of videos uh, where you can see what you can do. And then the second one is the florals stamp set and it has been designed um, in such a way that you can create these little floral clusters or you can use them together because I sized them like so, so you can use the flowers together with the face stamps uh, or otherwise here they are like that. So it'd be great for someone who maybe loves um, uh, journaling, you know, they can create little floral clusters in their journals or just anyone who loves um, art of any shape and form. Um, so these are kind of more fashion faces and florals and then of course my beautiful watercolor sets so this is what they come like um, very presentable so they come looking like this with a few gold butterflies that can be used in the art journals as well and there's a wood love card and a really thick cardstock 300 gsm watercolor paper um, for the swatch card and it's just a neat little present to give to someone or um, this is what they look when you unwrap them so these are handmade by me and I created this palette and called it lip and cheek because these are the classic lip and cheek colors in my opinion and this doubles as a beautiful skin tone and you can do a lot of different things they are velvet watercolors 
which means if you're not familiar with this channel or you're new, um, they have a beautiful little sheen. There we go. And they actually also have a little festive scent to them, so that comes in handy. And that is it. So they, um, so the clear stamp sets, they are um, still available on my Etsy shop. If you want to head over and check them out, otherwise, um, these watercolor sets they will be out, like I said, um, ready to purchase first few days, first week of December. So that is it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.